Hello, today I'm going to talk about white paints. This video is going to consist of two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about types of water-based cake paints. I will explain differences between them and when and why to use each of the type. In the second part, I'm going to talk about next videos, how I was making swatches and what I put in the next parts. Before we start, please like, subscribe and click the bell button to know when I post. I make a variety of time lapses, makeup tutorials and product reviews. So if that's what you enjoy, this is the channel for you. There is no simple answer, just this white paint is good or this white paint is bad, because it depends what you're going to use it for. For example, wax can dry to a nearly a plastic film and that could be kind of um, too tight on your skin. Uh, on the other hand, glycerin, they can smudge if you don't set them up, not at all of them, or they can be drying a bit longer. Generally, there are lots of different ingredients in one paint and there could be like from very little amount of certain ingredient to a big amount and they all mix us in between. So for example, there is not only like wax or glycerin, there could be talc, there could be acacia senegal gum. It is really hard to, to separate them like let's say two or three groups. I think it's much easier to group them into the types of usage. So I would say the wax paints, um, they are more for line work which means adding some swirls, small details or outlining. They are also great for one strokes. If you are doing um, the whole character, like you've painted a full face white or any other color, a glycerin paint would be better for that because they are softer, they blend better and they are great to put shadows on. Glycerin paints are great to paint on the skin when you are mixing colors straight there. Okay, we know the basics, let's go into the details and talk about the ingredients. Boring. Come on, Charlie, you will expect me to know what kind of paint to use when you go out for Halloween. And you wouldn't like it to crack on you. Fair point. Besides, would you trust the doctor who gives you the same medicine for all of your illnesses? Nope. So I suppose you need to know what kind of paint to pick depending on what you do, whether it's for line work for Pretty Butterfly or for a Halloween makeover. If you say so. I gathered all of the ingredients for the paints that I'm using in one huge table. And what I find out is that all of the paints contain glycerin. With a ruby red and smithy is not that obvious, but that's only because it contains a different form of it. Now coming to the most interesting part. All paints that are great for line work have acacia senegal gum in the ingredients. Apart from two paints, they all have wax in them. And that's probably why we call them wax paints. But I also found the difference between these two and ones that contain wax. The paints which contain only acacia senegal gum, they look glossy. It looks like there is a very thin layer of foil. Paints with acacia senegal gum and wax are very very similar regarding qualities and ingredients. There are a few types of glycerin paint because some of them they don't need to be set with powder, they work amazingly as a background. Some of them work amazingly as a line mark, they will last you a long time, uh, they won't smudge, they won't crease. And the difference between them is not that obvious, it's very gradual. Most of the paints you paint and they dry and you can go and enjoy yourself. But some of the paints they require setting with a powder. Without, they will be just smudging, they wouldn't dry properly. If I speak about glycerin paints, they are more differentiated. I would say that Superstar, Fab and Ruby Red have very similar qualities. And this is my own personal opinion, which is based on samples that I've taken and I'll be showing you in the next videos. I would say that these three are great for both lining and for background. Snazaru, Yulan Spigen and Smithy. I don't think they fall into any category. You'll need to have a look at each individual sample and make the decision yourself. The bottom five looking really well as bases, 
but I think they require powdering, um, otherwise they will smudge. Not all of them are the same, but I'm going to take some swatches and then to share my observations with you during that. So let's summarize what types of water-based paint we have and what are their qualities. Generally speaking, wax paint, line work. Glycerin paint, sponging backgrounds, like cosplay, like overall look. But it doesn't have to be exactly the same, like if I say this paint is glycerin paint, it's just suitable for that and that. Some glycerin paint are amazing for line work, some are really bad for line work. Some wax paint are really good for backgrounds. And we will check how it all works in the next two videos. I have been gathering paints for around a year and then I was recording all of the samples and all of the swatches. I also wanted to mention that the other paints of the same brand might be a bit different with the intensity of the color, with consistency of the paint, because they would have different colorants, different chemicals. It doesn't mean that just color changes in the same brand there might be a different types of ingredients added and the qualities will be different than this white paint in the next two videos i'm going to go over a few criteria: line work coverage with a white brush sponge coverage line work over another paint blended with another color using a brush I'm also going to check how paints are going to be blended with a sponge and how each white paint behaves as a background. In the next video I'm going to show you swatches of paint containing Acacia Senegal gum. And um, I did a stress test so I was rubbing them with a sponge and you can see how they looked after the stress test and how they look comparing to each other. As I mentioned before, some of these paints require powdering. So at the end of the third video, I made additional samples, how paint behaves with it. And obviously I did a stress test when I was rubbing the rubber to show how the paints wears out. This video to this moment took me over a year. First I was gathering paint, writing people about some qualities of the paints, uh, finding a new brands which I never tried before, buying them, waiting for them to arrive from, for example, from USA to UK. Some of them were taking longer. Um, I took only known brands that I have heard. I didn't take like, for example, um, the paints that are specific to some smaller countries and they are made there and they are not going outside anywhere else. I mean, only ones which are in the bigger shops, you can buy them. Uh, and still, I managed to gather, I think it was more than 23. Uh, let me check, so. Right, for now, I counted 24 brands. Uh, maybe not brands, 20, 24 types, because some of the brands I had a couple of paints because they're different whites. And I didn't have them all, like for example, I know Fab has a, quite a few white colors, I didn't take them all, I had just one. Uh, I took three superstars. Um, I had white, line white and skull white, although it's not white, but I'm using it as a white, so I decided to include it in my review as well. So 24 pins, I'm using 24 samples. and. Um, Actually, I would say even 25, you'll find out more in the third video why. Before I started to do this review, I uh, bought these pieces of rubber. I bought quite a lot of them, so it, I have enough for all of the samples. These are made for tattooing or something like this. So I washed them, I powdered them, so it will be equally easy to apply and every paint in, in the same condition. I think it's worse than the skin itself. It doesn't, like, it's easier to paint on the skin, but this is better than a board. Um, it is, um, if I would paint with colored paint, it would 
like leave the stains on but with the white paint there are no stains on it so it perfectly matches what I was doing for uh, for this review I didn't show working off the paint because some of the paints they were with me about maybe two years some of them were totally new and just fresh from the factory I was sent also some samples by companies sometimes when I didn't want to buy the whole paint I just cut out of the cake or, or like from a split and just put it separately and wrote the name so I won't be confused and then I was using just a small sample of it a lot of lot of work went into this so first I had to gather all of the pins I had to label and to do all of the samples I'll show you in a second actually my labels should be somewhere there the labels and uh, attaching them to the um, to this rubber so I won't get confused then obviously I was painting samples instead of preparing the rubber, painting the samples, recording this all, downloading video, cutting the video, matching the video and the voice, voicing over, just listening to my comments, to my own comments while recording it and then vo just adding a voiceover to make sure that everything is correct uh, and how to, for you to have a better, uh, better voice and uh, then labeling all of the video, adding all of this label so it's clear for you to see which paint I'm just now using and now recording and um, and in the future I'll also add subtitles so it's easier for you if you have problems understanding English for example or my English um, it will be easier for you to put on the uh, subtitles and if you know another language and if you would like to add to this video you can add subtitles in your own language there is an option on YouTube that you can add subtitles to a different to someone's video if you would like to show your video in your own country, you know, English and you would like to translate it to your own language, you are more than welcome to do that because this um, white paint review is a huge, huge amount of work. I spend a lot of time on it and I wish somebody did this video when I was just finding out about white paint because like it seems to be like white paints. It's quite easy. Just take white paint and use it. But then what paint would you use for sugar skulls, for example, during the Halloween season? and what paint would you use just if you want to color your your face white for something else to paint over it with some other colors will it blend or will it not blend and um, sometimes i want it to blend sometimes i don't want it to blend so i want to know which white paint should i use for that if you think that this video will be useful for you give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please do remember to ask questions because if you write this question in the comment I will come back to this at some point. Let me know if I missed anything or you would like to see something else, something more of this. Um, I'm very open to your comments, to your suggestions. And um, it's very important for me to, to hear your voice, to know what you're looking for. If there are going to be any more brands that I find, I will add them as a separate review, as a separate samples. I'm just going to make this as a white paint review part 6, part 7, part 8. If there are going to be more paints that I know of and or some kind of changes that I decide that my opinion have changed, I might add it as a next video and say, okay, what I said in the previous one, um, I think um, it's worth to say something else about this point, for example. A new face paints arrived straight from manufacturer. Thank you, Snazaro, for sending me these samples for my white paint review. A sample for face paint review has come from Part Explosion with the, together with a nice letter and what else have come? Invitation to Jumpvention in October where I can see my name! I received some samples of fusion white paints from JustPaint.com and they also sent me some stencils which is amazing, thank you! And the biggest thanks for Superstar who sponsored me for World Body Painting Festival and sent me all of these paints including whites by the way, making the video review of all these paints is in the queue, so stay tuned. If you are on Instagram, pop in into one of my accounts and say hello. I do arts and crafts, 
face painting, makeup or healthy food and travel. And the last thing I wanted to say is that my next part is going to be in around two weeks, so stay tuned.